Yeah, it's really simple. I think you need to simply enjoy it. I think you need to want it. And first of all, I think to have a good glass of champagne, you put your nose on the over the glass and just have just an idea of the first flavors coming out. And actually, you will know right away if it's fruity, if it's not, if it's a uh, blanc de blanc, it will be drier, you will have a, with a good champagne like brioche flavor coming out. As a there clone. is something very romantic about champagne. Though. I think maybe it's, it's the ambiance of, of where it comes from and the, the history attached to it, but there's something that says sex about it when, when, you're, when you're having... It makes you happy. Yes. So obviously Sex we're on the way. <laughs> so what is it about champagne that people associate romance and sex with? Is it just because it's alcohol, or is there a, is an effect from the bubbles? Do you oh, know? Good. So what is what is the, um, the your company about? What's the, what's the shop about? Because obviously you know we mentioned all these big names. Are those some of the the, the companies that you that you sell? Yeah. Well, um, our company is all about um, um, what we call growers champagne. That is the champagne coming from small independent producers in France. Now, just to give you some background, um, speaking about champagne, uh, we have in France 15,000 producers, yeah. of which yeah. only yeah. 5,000 produce <coughs> their own label, yeah. while the other 10,000 produce grapes for sure. all the big brands. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we are quite unique in the way we select our growers because um, we only work with producers that are coming from um, an association that is called Vignero Indépendant. And this is um, an association that is very strict in terms of quality and in terms of process mm. Mm. in the way that champagne is produced. Yep. Um, so um, our champagne is uh, probably one of the best uh, value for money proposition because the quality is excellent and at the same time the price is, the, the, the price is quite, quite affordable. Um, as French Bubbles, what we have? Well, we have a website. We don't have any shops, so the product is available uh, in our e-commerce website. And we can deliver the champagne within 20 hours all around the places in the UK. Yeah. Um, we have a portfolio that is made of five different producers with different styles. Uh, in the total, we have 14 different champagne yeah. from, you know, Blanc de Blanc, Grand Cru, to Pinot Noir, to Vintage, Non-Vintage and Rosé. Wow. Yeah, the price range is between, let's say, to make it simple, from 20 to 40 pounds. Yeah. yeah? Um, speaking about the quality, I have to say, and speaking about it's education... It's really reasonable. Sorry, 20 to 40 pounds. The most expensive one is 40. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Uh, really? It's, it's under pounds, 40. Yeah. Uh, wow. Finland. I'm just going to go, wow, because that's actually... <laughs> that's, I'll do another one. Wow. It's really, <laughs> Thank you. Another really, one. No, another seriously, one. that's a really good... Pro I mean, because, you know, obviously, I'm, I'm listening to you, and I'm, I just suddenly... I just heard that. I thought, wow. French Babylon was born a long time ago, actually, two years ago. Yeah? <laughs> um, and it was a very simple idea because um, at the time there was a friend that came to our place <laughs> with a fantastic bottle of champagne saying, hey, you know, guys, you don't know this champagne. It's, you know, Grover champagne. I said, oh, of course we know it, but we want to try it. Um, we tried the champagne and we found that the champagne was amazing. And when we look, you know, in the different shops in England, we couldn't find it. Uh, so we said, well, it could be great, to, you know, to do the proper business with the champagne. At the time, I was uh, in bubbles, but I was into soap bu bubbles. <laughs> I was working okay. for Unilever. I was oh, really? working in soap. Oh, and then you yeah. were working for Glaxo before, weren't you? <laughs> exactly. You, you can fight now. Go on. I'd love to watch two men fight. <laughs> <laughs> they all escape. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I said, well, I love, I love bubbles, and we should start with bubbles. <laughs> uh, Maud at the time was already passionate about champagne, and we decided it was, you know, a good opportunity for us to start the business. And there was no better time for us, you know, to go to Champagne, try the Champagne, lot of bubbles, and then do a proper business with it. Mm. Um, so we created the company two years ago. In care of it, I was passing all the time in Champagne, you know, meeting the producers, selecting the best producers, and bringing the mm. Champagne back to us. So you were getting all the glamour. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the was doing all the work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that was very tough, I have to say, to be in Champagne, testing all this Champagne. Very difficult. Very, very isn't difficult. It? The most important was to find the right name because, you know, it has to be a simple name. And uh, Maud came up with this idea about French, that is the champagne, and bubbles, that is the bubble effect. Mm. That is a simple name that everybody can uh, easily remember. Yeah. So, um, Maud, Stefano, I, yes. I love that you're French and Italian. You must yes. have some, like... Uh, some great arguments. I was thinking, <laughs> put some great oh. makeup as well. <laughs> some great makeup. So you need to take some chocolates home for your yeah. makeup. Right? I, I think that champagne, in the way it is uh, seen, especially in the UK, 
is um, something for celebration. Yeah, is uh, is due to the product that is these bubbles, this bubble effect. Yeah, that is very nice and very romantic at the same time. Uh, but it's also the fact that it's quite expensive, so it's for a unique celebration, unique occasion. Yeah. yeah? Then um, I have to say, when you look at uh, this champagne and you look at the color, you look at the bubbles, <coughs> it's very sexy by definition. The product is, defini yes. is, is sexy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And you like it too, basically drinking you know, alone when you're in a couple, you know, speaking about the future, speaking about the past, whatever is the discussion, mm -hmm. is very lovely. Yeah. And you must find on the palate what to have on the nose. So that's also a good sign of a good wine. But we're allowed to swallow this, yes? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can, you can. <laughs> we can get you a spittoon if you like. <laughs> this <laughs> is you really, want really here? lovely. But th this is a different experience to me because I usually drink out of the bottle. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> having, a, having a glass is great. You want to try from the bottle? <laughs> <laughs> In the glass is always much better. Yeah, yeah, it's lovely. I, I, very lovely. I, I, I feel posh. <laughs> you are posh. <laughs> yeah. First posh no, little Actually, you know, think, yeah, that's the, the, the glass is very important because, yeah. you know, thanks to the different shape of the glass, uh, the bubbles are developed in different ways. Yeah, That's why we are using all the time a flute champagne because it's coming out, you know, so softly. So, pr please tell us what's the difference between obviously all the different champagnes, you know, ab abroad and different countries. You know, they have call it champagne. You're asking me about not. prosecco, I suppose, right? <laughs> about what? So prosecco. prosecco. <laughs> I'm thinking about cava. I'm cava. thinking about you know because obviously I've just come back from Spain and I drunk some cava out there. I, I think there are um, well, you can see it from different angles. Um, the first important is the region where the, sh the champagne or the sparkling one is coming from. Yeah. Um, so not everybody knows that you know only champagne that is coming from this region called champagne in yeah. France can be called champagne. Absolutely. Yeah? Um, then you have different sparkling wines that can be produced with the same process that is called champenoise, but cannot be uh, called a champagne because, uh, you know, they are produced in a different place in a different country. Sparkling wine uh, is, a, is, is, a, is a great market in the UK because, um, uh, you know, it's uh, something uh, quite cheap. And you have, um, uh, as you said, sparkling wine called Prosecco in Italy or Gava uh, that are quite nice and actually... Uh, some of them are excellent, excellent wine, uh, but they are produced in a different way. Uh, the most important is that when you look at champagne, all the fermentation is happening in the bottle. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Yeah. It is a double fermentation. When sure. you look at this Prosecco, for instance, yeah. the fermentation is happening in big tanks. Yeah? And when you look at champagne, you, know, you look at these small producers, every day they have to turn the champagne bottles one by one every day for months. And that is making the difference. So it's less industrial production than the, the typical sparkling wine. Yeah. We are really enjoying our champagne here. Oh, yeah. So I don't know about you, uh, about you at home, what you're drinking, your Horlicks. They should be drinking this, <laughs> French bubbles. A lot of corporate events for company. Yeah, we, we did an event for a company called Palm Global Investment a couple of weeks ago. Sure. Yeah. And uh, was uh, something around, again, around cheese. Cheese and champagne are doing extremely well. And what yeah. we do is that we do events at their office, at the corporate, and we do in other venues and so on. But what is really, really important for us is to speak about this club that we created, you know, one month ago, basically. We wanted to do something different, yeah, with the launch of the new website that yeah, you should exactly. visit because it's amazing. It's a wonderful yeah. website. Yeah, it's very yeah. wonderful. Oh, thank you. Um, and the club for us is, um, is an idea really to introduce this grower champagne to the uh, English community. Mm. What we do is to sell every three months. There are two options, three bottles or, f or six bottles. And uh, with the bottles, we send them, you know, the history of the growers. We explain, you know, how to drink the champagne in different ways, what the champagne, what is making this champagne different from another and so Matching on. Matching food. Matching <coughs> food and so on. So what is very nice is that in one year, we basically receive, let's say, 12 uh, bottles of champagne from different, you know, producers, from different tastes, from different grapes. And you really, you know, passionate about the champagne, but you do, do enjoy with other people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> actually, this, this picture has been made during the French bubble challenge. So, which means people were discovering. Excellent. They were amazed about, like, they knew they rank without testing. First click of first, Moët Chandon second one, 
they guess like we must have good champagne as well we will not do it so they put yeah. one of us the third place and then they come back on the big brains at the fourth position yeah and then we di we discover the results and i think this lady because i was happy because I couldn't believe the result as we were like the three first position Excellent. was our champagne, which was a great results. And mm, yeah, no, I was saying, uh, speaking about speaking about the price and speaking <coughs> about education, uh, education is uh, the core of our business because even if you are saying thirty pounds or mm. thirty eight pounds, it's not expensive. Yeah. It's still quite expensive, you know, for people. They are not willing to buy a product they don't know at that price, mm. especially if they don't uh, have to buy one case of champagne that is about 150 quid. Yeah. So um, education is the core of our business because we realize that, you know, people need to receive education, not the champagne, and therefore we do a lot of uh, champagne testing. Mm. Um, typical example, when people come to our events, um, they try the champagne, and after the event, they're like, wow, I didn't know the champagne before. Yeah, yeah. Um, we did we did a blind test in a while ago. Was uh, probably six months ago. <coughs> it was quite funny because uh, people were coming to this event and they were just looking at the labels, looking at the different champagne, and they were just saying, "Oh, for me, Moet number one, Bof Clicquot number two. Mm. They didn't know anything about French bubbles, of course. Yeah. Um, we are doing the you know the blind testing one by one, explaining the difference and so on. And believe it or not, after the blind testing, French bubbles are number one, number two, number three. No. Oh, yeah. really? Uh, with Moet number Amazing. four and Bob Clicquot with oh, number great, six. Great, great, great. Yeah. Yeah. Also, you're, you're in your brochure. There's a picture of you enjoying, yeah. enjoying a glass. And there's a lady in the background out of focus. And she looks very happy. Yeah. And she has a <laughs> Obviously, you, you do this charitable work every month. Tell us more about that. Cause I mean, you it was uh, street smart. Um, and Street Smart is quite famous. Yeah, it's yeah. the famous mm. one pound that you had to the bill, you know, around Christmas for homeless. Yeah. And we did this campaign that was called One Bubbly Pound. And again, mm. we were giving one pound for each of the bottles we sold. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, the charity of the month. Uh, one is ex our expertise about events. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we do a lot of events, um, <coughs> like private events, that are French bubbles events, where we raise money for the different charities we work with. Um, the next one and bringing the champagne and uh, really I wish, wish you so much success with it it's a wonderful thank company wonderful uh, idea and I love you. all the charitable work you're doing and I definitely follow what you're doing